Hi, I'm Gail Thompson. Welcome to the Darby Creek Diaries. I hope everything is going well for you. This week I wanted to do some new product testing, but I like to do a technique at the same time. I'm also really excited to finally be able to announce that I'm a designer with a blog named Hero. We're going to try out the Waffle Flower Water Medium Mat today. I'm pushing on it and it stays in place well. The shaking that you see is actually on the table uh, and the papers always stay right in place. You don't need to tape them down or anything. If you saw the video about Simon Says Create, you'll see that I kind of fell in love with it there. So for the project, I'm putting distressed oxides down on the mat, straight on the mat in different colors for our trapped color, or I guess you could also call it the Joseph coat technique. This is really an old technique, uh, but it seems to be resurging. All of a sudden, I, I just saw Jennifer McGuire's video, but I'd already done all this video first. I just hadn't had a chance to publish it. Anyway, I'm just adding bits of color. Uh, you just, it doesn't even really have to be any, I'm not putting any effort in this, but you do want to dry it between layers. I just, uh, the first one, I just kind of put on a bunch of color to get it started. Now you just pick it up and look how it just cleans up the mat at the same time. Um, I did see a waffle uh, flower video the other day that showed that you could do mirror stamping using the mat. That's pretty awesome. So I'm picking up more color and more color. The cool thing about these oxides, you can just keep layering and layering because they're opaque, so they can land on top of another color and not turn it into mud. And just, you know what's funny about paper, it'll be warped, but when you hit it with the dryer, it'll flatten out. Now I wanna show you a mistake. When I got this set, I pulled my fish out kind of rough from the plastic, and I broke off his tail. And it doesn't really hurt anything, I just have to squeeze it up against the rest of it, but I'd rather be careful the next time. I'm taking my powder bag and going over this because it has to absolutely be dry for this method to work. And to test it, you can just dump some embossing powder on it, and flick it off and if you don't see any embossing powder that means it's dry because otherwise it would stick. I'm taking my Versamark clear embossing pad and I'm going to take that powder bag one more time. Then I'm going to pounce on my stamp and get it nice and juicy because it is really important to get a good shot when you're using a, a block like this. You could use a positioner, but I just didn't. And you can't see it, but this is the middle of the goldfish uh, set. There's a color layering set, and this has the most detail, so that's what I used. There you can kind of see him there, down at the bottom left. I'm going to stamp him three times, but I looked at it and I thought, you know, I can't see this very well, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the powder on the other two. That way you can see it a little better and know where you're placing it. I didn't really know where this card was taking me exactly. So we just went with it and uh, I just found a place to put a third one. I wasn't sure. I thought maybe I might even die cut them. So I really didn't know what I was going to do. Lots of times my projects take on their own little life. So we just put in this one last impression, and now we have it all powdered. Get your heat tool good and hot before you bring it to the paper. It helps with warping, and you can overheat embossing powder, and it'll start to sink back into the paper, which I had happened to me there up on the left. You can kind of see it, but I cut that out. The next product I wanted to introduce are the Picket Fence Life-Changing Blending Brushes. Now, I, I knew I needed a change in my life, but I didn't know this would be it. If you have issues with having harsh kind of circle marks from using your blending pads, which I do because I'm not the best at that, these brushes 
really are easy to apply. They're very soft and we're going to test them out here so you can see them for yourself. I only have the set of the big four right now, but I think I'm going to get those little ones. All you do is just pick up the color with your brush and place it on, but it goes on a thin layer and I was wanting to kind of make it thick. So I kind of kept going after it. These are really supposed to be for light applications, but hey. Um, and it wouldn't really have mattered had I had little circle marks, but I don't like them. So I just kept going with my Distress Oxides. And then I wiped my brush off, and I'm going to show you here that on a baby wipe, it wipes clean in just a few swipes. Now this color, this thing may be stained, but the uh, color does not come off on the paper. And then you can switch colors. So you don't have to have one for every color or even one for any hundred colors. I'm just going to have one for all of mine. So I'm going to go back in with a darker color because I'm trying to make this look like water and we just keep building it up. Then I'm going to take a clean brush and look, this is an absolutely clean brush that's never been used. And look, it's magic. And I wipe it off because I don't want to apply any more color. So all the areas that were embossed, I'm buffing out and it is showing the rainbow fish. My daughter had a fish when she was oh three, four or five years old, something like that. And um, it met with a kind of a accident, but it did die clean. Uh, my son thought it needed a bath, so he added bubbles. Yes, it was sad. Anyway, I have all these fish buffed out and I'm just, you know, wiping to make sure that, because I still wasn't trusting it, but boy, they do clean easy. Even if it stains the brush, then you just take a baby wipe and a little water and the mat wipes up clean. I like that it's white. Uh, it doesn't reflect the light from my uh, video lights. My Tim Holtz mat, you know, it's glass and I have a little bit of issue. Anyway, the final product I wanted to show you are Nuvo Dream Drops. This is Supernova, and the closest thing I can find is Fairy Wings. I got this in a kit, and I guess this exact color isn't out yet, but the Fairy Wings is very close. And I just rubbed it on the edge of my panel because I'm going to be layering my uh, fish on top of that. Then I wanted to show you kind of what it looks like on vellum. It, you know, nice and shimmery. And this is so easy to apply. And look at this. Is this to die for? It's just gorgeous on black. And then I wanted to show you what it looked like if I just placed it on top of the water. And this is on flat black cardstock. And then this is on, it's called black velvet cardstock. And it's kind of neat. And look at, it turns into several colors depending on the angle. And I'm taking my Hero Arts vellum strip that I printed off, I stamped off camera, and I'm just centering it up because I'm going to fold it behind the panel. And of course I could not find my scotch tape anywhere and that's all that really needed. So I went ahead and just used my score tape that was hand, you know, just sitting next to me. And I cover up the blank spot on that fish. Since this stamp was part of a set of stamps. It doesn't have all the features, so I kind of covered the part up that was showing. I stacked this all up and placed it on a white cardstock, and now I'm just going to show you the products that we went through. The Nuvo Dream Drops, the life-changing picket fence brushes, the waffle flower mat, and here's our project. I hope you like it. It I just added a couple of uh, Pretty Pink Posh droplets and some shimmer spray. And here are some different angles for you to see in the light. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you'll click like and subscribe. Come back, see me, tell your friends, tell your enemies. Anyway, I'm going to leave a couple of videos here at the end that I think that you might be interested in. I hope you have a wonderful day and that you have a chance to craft something, 
And if you're living where spring is sprung, get out and enjoy it. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.